Hey guys, Aaron here with Double A Shaves, back again for another video. Got a pretty interesting shave today. This one is going to be interesting. I haven't used this soap in a while, but uh, we're going to see how it goes. So I got Cryogen from Chiseled Face, and uh, for those of you who don't know, this is like the most mentholated soap on the market. Yeah, look at that, ultra mentholated. Just insane, insane, insane amounts of menthol in here. Um, I puck lathered on it a few times, so it kind of got smoothed out, but... Um, yeah, when I first got this, you know, when, when the soap hadn't been used yet, like right on the top, you could, you could actually see the menthol crystals there. And that's, that's how you know that this is like a pretty serious soap. Um, and for those of you who aren't really familiar with the brand, uh, Ron over at Chiseled Face, his whole thing is like really, really masculine sense. And I guess kind of makes sense that he made this soap. He just wanted to make like the most mentholated soap there is. And it's crazy, like when you smell it, like just by, just from smelling it, it just makes your eyes water. And um, it's, think like Vicks Vapor Rub, just times a hundred, like in your face, just a, all you smell in here is menthol. It's just like a super menthol kick. And uh, yeah, it's funny, the last few times I used this, like it, it's, it's weird because, um, you know, when it's on your face, it kind of makes it numb and it makes it like, it's, it's almost kind of like dangerous because like you can't really feel the blade a lot and it's just yeah and then your eyes are watering at the same time so it's just yeah but you know I felt like shaving with it today it's always kind of fun to use it's a good novelty soap so um I don't know yeah we're gonna see what happens and uh to make things even better I'm gonna be after each pass I'm gonna do a two-pass shave after each pass I'm gonna be rinsing off with uh got some ice water here so it's gonna make it even colder. Um, yeah, I've done this ice water shave with cryogen. I've done it before and, um, yeah, I'm not gonna, it hurts. I'm not gonna lie. Like it makes your face numb, but again, it's just a fun novelty soap to use. And, um, even though it's not summer here yet in Pennsylvania, I just wanted to bust it out. It's been a while. And, um, it's actually interesting too. And what I've noticed from the soap is after I use it, my, the post shave is like really, really nice. And I, did some research online about the benefits of menthol and apparently it's really, really good for your skin. So yeah, we're going to see uh, what happens with this one after this shave and see how it feels. So yeah, pretty neat, pretty neat over at Chiseled Face, the cryogen. Um, and then to top it off, I'm going to be using a, a mentholated aftershave. This is Dark Fall from Declaration Grooming. Um, yeah, this is a nice manly shave today. This is like, uh, it just smells like a bonfire you know, in the fall, and it's got some oriental spices in there. Really, really awesome. Um, this is my, probably my favorite smoky scent, because it's like, it's not just straight smoke, it's well rounded out with some other notes, like the spices, so, yeah, and Declaration, he's got one of the best aftershaves in the market, I mean, the list of ingredients is just massive. Um, great post-shave feel in here, just really, really awesome stuff. Uh, razor for today is going to be I uh, got this super fat handle off of Maggard's. I think it's the MR8. Yeah, I think so. I'll link to all the products in this in the description. But yeah, another guy, um, another guy I watch on YouTube. His name is the Shave Den. I'll link to his channel. But uh, yeah, he kind of got me in the mood for like some heavy handles, and it just works for me because I think uh, the weight of the handle, you know, it's good for. It does a lot of the work for you, and you know, like the weight. It, um, it's, you know, it just kind of allows you to like, it just really helps out with, you know, applying pressure and the weight of it just does a lot of the work and it's just really, really nice. So it works for me. Um, and then I'm pairing it with, uh, an aggressive head from Maggard's. I think this is the B3A aggressive head. Um, yeah, I've been using this combo a lot off camera and I think the aggressive head with the weight of the handle, it just, it really works, you know, um, yeah, and I thought with an aggressive head that it would tear me up a lot more, but I'm actually starting to think that this is kind of the appropriate, um, kind of the right head for my hair type because it is a little coarse. So, then I got a new blade today. This is from one of my big sampler packs I got from Maggard's. This is a Derby Extra. These, these are made in Turkey, and I think they're, I forget what they're coated in. They're coated in uh, something, but, um, yeah, first time used for the Derby Extra Turkish Blades. Um, and it's kind of cool because th this, uh, I haven't seen this with any other blades, but this uh, these blades, it kind of comes with this hard case and you could just kind of slide 
here's the label. You can just kind of slide these out like this, you know, and the blades come out like that. And it also makes for a good temporary holding spot. Like if you're going to use a blade over, you could put the used one in here and then take it out again. Just really, really nice touch with these, uh, these derby blades here. And I got my, going to be using my Sterling. I think this is the finest Badger 24 millimeter nut. Um, then I got soap lathered up pretty good in my Black Ship Grooming Bowl. Uh, I might have over hydrated it this time. Definitely uh, got a couple bubbles in there. It's, it's got a nice sheen to it though. Um, I think it looks okay though. We'll go with it. We'll see. All right. Let's cry gin it up. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to get some of the. Uh, Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, so I'm going to be rinsing off the blade with just tap water, but I'm going to be rinsing my face with the ice water because I don't want to, I don't want to rinse my face with the same water that I rinsed the blade in, so that's how it's going to go. But yeah, I'm just going to start off wetting my face now with this ice water and uh, it's going to wake me up. It's going to get me ready for work later, so let's see how this goes. Woo! Oh boy. Yeah, and here in Pennsylvania, it is kind of, it is kind of starting to get a little warmer, but I'm glad I'm still going to have plenty of the soap, you know, in the really hot months, because, uh, oh, wow, oh, boy, this is going to be an interesting shave. Here we go. All right, cried in here. I'm going to do a two-pass shave today, so I don't take up too much time, but. Yeah, so like I said, I've done, I've used cryogen, I've used it a couple times before, and when you first apply it to your face, you don't really feel anything. It kind of takes a little bit for the menthol to kick in, but once it kicks in, it's just like, I just remember, you know, your your face just gets numb, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's weird because like, it's tough to feel the blade on your skin when you're when you're, you know, because of the, the numbness from the menthol and it actually makes it kind of more of a challenge to shave, but I'm kind of in the mood for it today. I'm kind of up for it. Yeah, already I can feel that menthol kicking in and, uh, you know, on the, there's a lot of mentholated soaps on the market. I mean, you got like, uh, you got Sterling's Glacial line and all that. Um, you know, and there's a lot of other ones from different brands, but, uh, yeah, cry, nothing is as mentholated as cryogen. This stuff is just insane. Um, yeah, just a really cool, like novelty kind of thing to have in your den. Yeah, already this feels fantastic. Um, I have a feeling when I rinse with the ice water after this pass, it's, it's probably going to hurt, but yeah, I was never too much of a menthol head to be honest, but, um, I might start getting more into it. It does feel pretty good. And like I said, it does. Last couple times I used this, my skin felt very, very, very nice. I think because of the benefits from the menthol. Um, yeah, it's crazy. I had no idea it was like good for your skin, like the menthol, but it turns out it is. So. All right, here we go with the grain. See how it goes here. All right, so far the Derby's doing good. First use with the Derby. Um, yeah, and like, it's kind of funny, like sometimes these blades, like they'll get really bad Amazon reviews, but I never really trust those. Um, in my honest opinion, I don't think there's like, I don't think there's like a massive difference between certain blades. Like I get that there's ones like feather where it's extra sharp, but um, oh, my eyes are they're watering already. Oh boy. Yeah, I guess that's kind of why I was never a big menthol head. Is because I have a lot of aftershaves with, with menthol, and your eyes just I just hate that watery eye feeling you get after you apply it. Um, <laughs> I was never into that, but. Now it's happening during the shave because the soap is mentholated. So. <laughs> um, yeah, like I was saying, like it's hard to trust some of these blade reviews, you know, because 
you just got to try it out for yourself because, um, you know, everyone's got a different skin type. And a lot of people leaving the, these reviews, like, who knows if it was even the blade that was giving them issues. It could have been some other factor. Um, could have been their technique, but, you know, whenever I use a lot of different blades from these sampler packs, like, there's never one I use where it's just like, oh, this is terrible. Like, you know, I think, I don't know. You just, you got to try stuff out for yourself, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But, yeah, so far, um, man, I can't wait to use the soap in the summer. It just uh, feels so good. Especially after like a hot day, it's going to be great. All right, I would say that's a good, good first pass there. Trying to rinse off the ice water. This is going to be pretty interesting. Let's do it up here. A big chunk of ice on my hand. <laughs> Oh my lord, that is, yeah, my skin is just completely numb right now. Man, it hurts. I'll tell you what, it hurts. Whew. But man, yeah, like the the post-shave feel on this cryogen, it's like, it's better than almost any soap I have in my den. Like, I think it might be something to do with the menthol, but I don't know, I gotta do more research on that, but I did see that it, it was really good for your skin and every time I use it, it just feels great. Woo! All right, that is one, one, one cool shave. All right, let me do the next pass here. <laughs> yeah, like this isn't as bad as I remember it. Like my last cryogen ice shave was like really painful, but for some reason this one isn't as bad. Um, I don't know. I wonder if over time, like the menthol and the soap kind of loses its, its strength, but. Yeah, and I did notice that this soap has a different consistency than other chiseled face offerings. And I, it's probably from all the menthol packed in there, but. Man, this is, this is like a really good performing soap. Every time I use this, it just blows me away, you know? Um. Yeah, my eyes were watering earlier, but now they're not. Hmm. Yeah, the, I mean, scent on this is not, you know, if you're big into scents, this is this is not like a well-scented soap. It just smells like Vicks Vapor Rub times a thousand. Like, all you smell is the menthol. I don't think that's, like, the good thing about this soap, though. I think just the packed menthol is kind of what will draw people to it. But, yeah, it's just funny. I'm just... I'm just really glad this soap exists, you know. Ron over at Chiseled Face, he's always doing like crazy, super masculine type soaps, and you gotta love it. All right, I'm go against the grain here. Yeah, this Derby Blade's working out. I like it. Yeah, nice heavy handle. It just. The weight, I feel like, really helps in the pressure, you know, the pressure, applying the pressure and stuff. Ooh. A little bit of tugging on the neck there. Gotta be careful. Nice audio feedback there. there yep, here comes the eye watering again. It just comes and goes and comes and goes. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't tried, um, I'm trying to think if I have any other mentholated soaps. Uh, I have a lot of mentholated aftershaves, but not a lot of mentholated soaps. I don't think I have, like I know in the summer, Sterling has a lot of, a lot of offerings, but. Yeah, like I said, I was never just, never the biggest fan of the eye watering thing, so.
but I might get one of those Sterling Glacial soaps just, just to see how it compares. You know, I'm pretty sure this you no know, soap has more menthol than this. this sad boy, but. I'm gonna flip it over and use the other side. I always have a habit of using one side and rinsing it, but I think using both is probably more efficient. Okay. New blade did good. Hygen did good. Let me see if I miss anything here real quick. Um, yeah, I think in this mirror it looks good. In my bathroom mirror I could see more, but I think I'm going to take this. All right, another uh, rinse off of the ice water here. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. And... You know, I know they always say, like, it's better to use warm water with a shave because it opens up the pores more, but I don't see too much of a difference. I really don't. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, I mean, the post-shave slickness is, like, it's, like I said, it's comparable to, like, some of the other amazing soaps that I have. It's just really good. Yeah, something with that menthol, it just, it works. Uh, someone's at my door here. Oh. <laughs> of course, right during a shave. Yeah, right, uh, get the paper towel here. All right. So I'm actually going to cut it there because someone's at my door. I'm really sorry about that, but I'll pick it up in a little bit. So I'll be right back. Sorry about that little interruption there. Yeah, uh, there was a maintenance guy at my door for a request I put in. I just was talking with them for a sec, but... um. Yeah, I think I left off. Um, yeah, so great, 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 great shave with the Cryogen and the, uh, you know, the Derby Blade, Maggard Aggressive Head and the Maggard uh, Ultra Weight Handle here. So yeah, I got a mentholated aftershave to top it off. This is Dark Fall. Like I was saying, one of the best aftershaves in the market. Um, a lot of good skin food in here. Just really, really good stuff. Smells like a bonfire. Not too smoky though. It's like well rounded out with some oriental spices. Um, yeah, really, really awesome stuff. Good soap. Good, uh, good scent for the fall here for sure. Yeah, if you're, I think the smoke is from the. Uh, I think there's some birch tar in there, or pine tar, one of those. But. Wow, well that shave went actually went a lot better than I was expecting. Um, my skin got a little numb, but not too numb. Um, but uh, man, I tell you what, that post-shave feel from the menthol, there's something about the soap where it just works really good. I really like it a lot. Okay, well, yeah, sorry about the interruption there, but thank you guys for tuning into my shave today. Um, yeah, really, really pleased with it. If you're into menthol, real heavy menthol, um, I urge you to get cryogen. It's just like comically a lot of menthol. It's just hilarious. Um, but uh, scent wise, it's not anything special, but I think performance wise, it does a good job. So just be prepared for that menthol kick. And um, yeah, it's cool. You know, I like like that this soap is around. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I enjoy watching your guys' videos as, as usual. Um, so take care and I will see you next time.